Good morning, this is Doc with Dr. Patrick Live, and today is two days past Thanksgiving. And Thanksgiving, as we all know, is a time, or a good excuse anyhow, for us to get together as family, even in the midst of pandemic. Some of us was through Zoom or other online platforms. But we get together, we eat, we remember, and we try to do some family stuff. And who knows if that's really the reason for Thanksgiving or not, but we used it as a great excuse. And then the next day after is this Black Friday shopping extravaganza, right? And a lot of people went online, apparently, record numbers and bought a bunch of stuff and then the Saturday comes and we prepare for Cyber Monday where we go and spend more money but what if we change the whole paradigm you know 2020 has been something less than stellar for many people right it started out we had high hopes high expectations the economy was booming and then the COVID-19 virus hit and sort of wiped out a lot of our world, at least economically. And then it was a struggle, right? And then we had the period of protests and we had people talking about rights and what is right, what is wrong and who matters and who doesn't matter, right? And there's a lot of um, powerful emotions stirred up in that. And then we had the election cycle, right? Which was a nightmare in itself. And who knows whenever that will be um, all fleshed out. But in the midst of everything, right? The average person's stress level went from like, like a one or two to like a three or four or five or six, which means every day we get up, we're stressed. We're stressed as a people, right? Some people don't have jobs. Some people are worried about their jobs. Some people are worried about their health, worried about the economy, worried about the world, worried about the election. I mean, we have worry, 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 worry. How do we move forward without letting the worries and the anxieties just eat us alive. You know, there are some things we need to do. So here's some good reminders. Number one, take a breath, slow down. Try to clear your mind. Don't be listening to the news. The news is not helpful, right? There's this thing called yellow journalism of the past where people stir up things to attract people to follow them. But you know what? Most of what's stirred up is negative. That's not going to help us. So try to avoid the news. Try to clear your brain and to be calm, at least for a moment each and every day. Number two, get outside. Look, there's a lot of people that say if you go outside, you're going to catch a virus. And so there's people that are locked up, cocooned inside, but that's not good, right? Sunlight on our skin and resonating off our eyes elevates our mood and lifts our serotonin levels and makes us feel good. We need to be outside. Three, don't isolate. Now, a lot of people talk about social distancing and you have your six feet or 10 feet or whatever. And you know what? You do what you feel like you need to do. But humanity, we are not isolated creatures, right? We need connectivity. So sometimes we have to be creative in how we get it. But we all need to be connected to people. So remember to stay connected. And then, of course, you know, eat, drink good fluids, try to get good rest, right? Those are important elements as well. But In the midst of all of that, one thing that we can start doing today that will really change us and I believe change our world, every day when you wake up, try to focus on doing one thing for someone else today. So you get up, what's one thing I'm going to do for someone else today? So if you're in the checkout line, right, make sure you tell the clerk something positive. Hey, thank you for what you're doing. Thank you for for putting those groceries in that bag. You do such an awesome job. I hope you have an awesome day. When you see somebody doing something, encourage them. Say something positive. A lot of times we're so quick to criticize or we're short or we're stressed slow down and say something nice. If you're in a restaurant, if you're in a state that still has that, go in there and tip the waitress or the waiter a little more than normal, right? Do an encouraging word. We had to go to Waffle House on Thanksgiving because that's our tradition because we have it the day after. And the waitress was just working really hard. And so we made sure we tipped her just a little bit extra. And she was very thankful. We didn't do it for the thankfulness, but we did it to help her, help her have a good day. So it doesn't matter what color of our skin or socioeconomic status or what nation we're from. Everybody can be nicer. Everybody can encourage someone else, even you. Some of us like to be encouraged and we just don't tell people, right? But it's even nice to be encouraged ourselves. Hey, good job mowing the yard. Hey, good. That was a wonderful meal. Thank you for that. Try to find something 
each and every day to encourage someone else. And let's try to do this until the end of December and let's do a social test. So in the end of December, right, we'll kind of talk about what difference did it make, if any. So in the comments below, right, talk about what you're doing. Talk about who you've changed. Talk about how you've lifted someone up. And let's keep that as one of the goals moving forward in 2020 as it rolls over into 2021. Look, the virus might be bad. The virus virus might be negative. Our culture might be going through some negative stuff, right? But in the midst of it all, we, you, can be positive. Remember, it is a choice. So if you like this video, click it. If you think it might benefit somebody, share it, right? Let's change the world together. We can make a difference. Doc out.